Hello and welcome to Tinkertube's lab. Just at my last visit of a local dollar store, I noticed those coat hanger mutant thingies with all those little nipples and hangers for accessories like uh, collars and rings and whatever. And I thought, well, as they just uh, were about 80 cents a piece, maybe I should take some of them with me and see what I can do with them. So I took some of them home, like this black one you already saw, and a blue one, and another black one, and also a whatever color this is supposed to be thingy, and yeah, you can see what I made with it. Let me just stand up and show it to you. And as you can see, I thought this is totally suitable for hanging cables and test leads and all kind of stuff onto it. Especially if you keep in mind that it is really easy to just pick the one you want, even if they are buried behind other cables. Um, instead of my old version of cable hanger, which is right there, you can see it is just a... Oh, let me place this down here. It's just a, um, um, a holder for, uh, for, for ties and I reused it to hang all kind of cables on this and just bolted it directly to the ceiling. But uh, as you can see it's completely convoluted. And I thought this could be an adequate solution for this problem. And I guess it really is. So let, just let me reorganize this whole mess of cables. And then I will come back to you and show you what the result will look like. So now that it is empty, you can actually see what it is supposed to look like. It's just, as I said, it's a holder for ties and I bolted it to this metal rod which is <laughs> embossed in the ceiling. Um, it worked quite nice but as I said it's totally convoluted and I think a quite better solution will be by using those accessory hanger thingies. So let's go on with sorting the cables. Right now I am trying to determine which of those alligator clips are the crappy Chinese one which you are, have really problems opening it even with two hands and the uh, the older ancient German ones I have which are so nice to operate even with my little finger I can easily open them so those come to the front and those crappy ones which indeed have much thinner cable I just noticed. Um, the crappy ones go at the back of this accessory holder thing so I can at the first look determine which one I should use and which I shouldn't. Also I'm trying to group those uh, at colors of this one. It's, it's, it's horrible. I am using all my force to open this. It is... This one also. Crap. That's kind of usable. That one's nice. Nice again. Very nice. Also. Crap. Crap. Very nice, very nice, very nice.
absolute garbage. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Ooh, not my first green one. That one is crap. I can't even open it a millimeter. Oh, that is, that's a nice one. Where do I put that? <laughs> is it white or is it black? Let's say white because of the clips. Unusable. And a nice one. We really only have one single usable black one and this semi-usable which isn't even semi-usable. <laughs> Let's say this one is black. <laughs> okay, so since this one is quite usable and those two red ones are also okay, I can consider them usable, so I can take only the lower row for my alligator clips and use the upper row for some specialized test leads like those for connecting capacitors. Another one of those. Look at that, I found a black one. But it's crap. So let's get those out of the way. And I guess I have also finished the violet test lead holder thing. I shouldn't place it there, I should place it onto my chair and I saw that I have a multimeter probe hanging onto here which I didn't want. So now we are only test leads, wonderful. The next one I'm going to dedicate to test leads. I already tried to Sort them. What is that? Oh, it was a crap one. I already kind of determined which one are test leads and which are not. So this should go a bit faster. And um, actually, I won't use those anymore. I mean, what is that? It's child toys, I guess. I used those ages ago, I guess. I actually don't know if I ever used them. I'm not quite sure or if I found them somewhere. But I guess it's not really any of any particular use. So just throw it in the garbage or around the room or wherever. It is the best place. Next one, another one of those. Ah, a temperature test probe made by ETT. Another temperature probe without any particular brand, and it is highly unbent and completely in near mint condition. The accessory hanger is trying to escape, but we won't let it escape. Stay here. Thank you. And another temperature probe made by Reisinger Electronic. I have no idea what that is supposed to be. It's a nichrome, nichrome nickel 
minus 50 to plus 1000 degree probe and it's somehow molten I have no idea how that happened I got this old probe from my old chemistry teacher as we decided that some of the equipment in the lab wasn't appropriate for the school work anymore like this one and that one and that one so I asked politely if I can have those probes and she said sure if you want them take them and what can I say they are still accurate I have no problems using them so why should I throw them out rubbish ah. and we have one of those little things quite useful not too good in quality but it it does its work so we can take that one place it there another black test lead oh this is a good one i bought a whole bunch of those keyside test leads on ebay for around i guess seven bucks per set of test leads and i already distributed most of them to some friends and some colleagues but they are really really nice probes they are sharp as hell and they come with those nice isolating uh, tips you can detach which requires quite an amount of force and you shouldn't place them anyway you should reattach them because i already lost two of those but those probes are really really nice they feel great in your hand and it is a pleasure to use them so i can actually really recommend those probes if anyone is in need for new multimeter probes catch some of those they aren't particularly expensive and here's the corresponding red one two of those I guess they are from Voltcraft multimeters. They're only category two, but really nice probes actually for the beginner. It's no problem to use those. And last but not least, those two probes, I have actually no idea where to get them from. They are from a company called Schützinger. Where's the camera? There it is, focus. It's from Schützinger and <laughs> judging by the name, I guess it's a German company. I have actually no idea. They are also only cut too, but I keep them because they have this a four millimeter banana plug at the front and also a sharp tip. So you can use them if you want to probe in test, test boards, which have those four millimeter banana plugs, or if you just want to measure the output of your, uh, of your, of your power supply you can just plug them in and they will keep their place even if you let loose which is quite difficult using these sharp uh, probes you have to clamp them somewhere or use alligator clips to connect them so i keep those around for tasks like this and i got another one of those quite a bit difficult uh, different to the first one i got as this one had a four millimeter ish plug and a rather big hook as this one has a alligator clip and a rather small hook but they do both work so I keep those this makes the test lead hanger complete quite some test leads I have here place them somewhere where I do not drop everything and the last one this is going to be populated with oscilloscope probes and BLC connector leads we have a whole bunch of BNC leads 
I actually salvaged them from my local university. They were throwing out some test gears and I found a whole lot of those cables just lying in a container waiting for the trash. And besides them being quite disgusting and sticky and moldy and whatever, I decided to keep them because they are perfect, perfectly fine cables. They are have no problems at all. They are really rigid. They have a nice uh, stress relief at the end of the plugs. They are not broken at any part I can see. And they work a treat. So why would you throw that out? I didn't understand it, so I kept them. So place it there and the short... Ugh. Okay, I guess I... Sh should dispose the shot on it. There's really sticky and it's not a pleasure to touch. It's that's disgusting. Blah. The other ones actually aren't sticky at all. But the short one that that was nasty. I also will keep this one which is a b rather crappy BNC to uh, some high frequency connector. I have no idea how that is called. Um, if I recall correctly, it is the same one you can use on antennas for, uh, for example, for CB radios and stuff like that. And as I am a bit into CB radio, I should at least have one cable where I can measure something, even though I did never use it not until now. So, well. Better to have it than to need it. Next ones are those. Just generic uh, 10 time probes switchable. Um, I guess they are from uh, early 80s Harmac equipment. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I remember that I got them from a dumpster and they were lacking the, uh, the earth uh, clips. So I have had to improvise and I noticed that the connection here for the earth clip was just a little uh, M2 and a half millimeter screw terminal. So I soldered to a two, a two and a half millimeter screw a, uh, a just a little alligator clip and covered it with quite some amount of heat shrink tubing. So I created my own uh, little multi uh, little oscilloscope probes and th th those were actually the first probes I ever used so they have a little bit of a sentimental value for me so I will definitely keep those I have two of them number one and the second one is even crustier than the first one but they both work quite well they are completely calibrated and before I got my Rigold scope, which came with four really nice new probes, I used those on a regular basis. And also potentially dangerous stuff like that. Just a usual 3-pin plug to the... Uh, what is it called? IC connector. With unshielded, unisolated 4mm ports at the uh, line port just to connect a ampere meter in series to the cable just for measuring purposes on the fly. And no, you should not build something like that at your own. I dare you. I hope you don't. This one is also of particular use. It's just two high um, two high voltage resistors packed inside some isolating tape connecting to some uh, alligator clips, which are just used to discharge any potential charge device. So just clipping it onto something. I, oh, mm, I used cheap alligator clips. It's well, I will build it. I re rebuild a new one. That is unusable. So here are my done cable 
organizing hanger accessories reused stuff thingies I actually quite like the idea of using those accessory hangers to uh, sort cables and stuff like that as it is really easy to pick a special cable up you want to use that one so you take it you want to use a short yellow one just take it or you need one of those alligator clip thingies take it place it back it's really convenient to use and I really like that it's much nicer to use than that old thing which also is quite loose inside the ceiling I'm tempted to rip it right out of the wall but then I have to fix the wall which I do not want to so I will not do that right now but I hope this is an idea you maybe can adapt and use for your own purpose as I said I bought them at a local kind of dollar store it is called action which originates I guess from uh, Netherlands or Belgium I'm not quite sure about that but if you have something like that at your local I don't know uh, drugstore or whatever take one of those and try it for yourself they are cheap as hell and they are really useful if you like that idea I would appreciate it if you could give me a big thumbs up if you could subscribe to my channel or even give me a comment that really helps a lot in keeping me motivated doing more videos and stuff like that maybe I can see you back the next time here at Tinker Tube Sled. until then goodbye